Navigating your Eclipse account. Welcome to the Eclipse instructional video series. Eclipse is the City of Philadelphia's public portal for permits, licenses, and applications. In this video, we're going to give you a brief overview of the information and functions included in your Eclipse account with a focus on permit-related activities. Visit the Eclipse login page to access your Eclipse account. If you do not have an account, you can start the process under the register heading, check out the creating an account in Eclipse video at phila.gov forward slash li. Let's log in. Enter the email address and password associated with your account and select sign in. After logging in, you will always start on your homepage. The home page has three distinct areas. The blue banner at the top lists the different pages. We'll take a look at each of these later. Underneath this are links that can be used to take actions on licenses, permits, and certificates. Ready to start an application? Check the options here. Click on a link to start the process and follow the instructions provided. The last area is a row of tabs you can use to navigate your existing activities. Each tab lists the activities indicated in the tab title. As an example, let's look at the My Activities tab. This tab lists all recent permits and applications. Any of the items listed can be opened at any time to look at the details. Click on an item to open it. Let's click on a permit to see what information is available. You will be directed to a details page which provides a summary of the permit information. Where available, read the guidance text and click the blue dots for more information. Depending on the permit type and the process it follows, more or less information may be shown. Some actions, such as applying for an extension or requesting an inspection, may be taken from this page. Different action buttons will show depending on the status of your permit or application. The Reviews tab lists all reviews that are part of this permit. You can see the review status, corrections required, and uploaded documents. Access a useful user guide by clicking here at the top of the page. If your submitted documents require corrections, check out our other video, Understanding ePlans and accessing review results at phila.gov forward slash li. On the inspections page, you can view the list of all the inspections associated with this permit, whether they have been scheduled or have already taken place. Under next actions, you can see if any actions are available to you, such as cancel inspection. If the inspection has been completed, you can download the inspection report here. Under the Project Activity tab, you can view the main actions that took place on the permit application. This tab will no longer be available once the permit has been issued. Under the Contractors tab, you can view the list of contractors associated with this permit and, if needed, add or remove contractors. Note that, after permit issuance, a change in primary contractor must be submitted in person. The Subcontractors page is very similar to the Contractors page. From here, you can view, add, and remove subcontractors that are associated with your permit. On the Manage Permit Notifications tab, you can manage notification settings, add or remove contacts, and access the association code to invite co-applicants. Click on a name to update their notification settings. Be sure to click Save if you make any changes. Now that we've looked through a permit example, let's go back to the home page and explore the blue banner options. Clicking the search button brings you to the search page. Here you can search Eclipse for your own permits, projects, and business licenses. The next three sections can be used to search the entire Eclipse database for building permits, daily zoning permits, and business, rental, and trade licenses. On the profile page, Click on your customer record under My Profile to update your account details such as email, password, mailing address, or phone number. Remember to click Save if you make any changes. The My Emails tab lets you customize your notification email settings. 
For example, being notified when your permit has been extended. We recommend selecting all of the options to always know the latest news on your requests. The Pay page lists any outstanding fees. From this page, you will be able to submit individual payments by selecting a single item or pay for all your outstanding items at once by selecting them all. Click Submit and Pay Selected to be taken to the payment portal where you can pay your fees. The My Payments page shows your payment history. Use the search fields to look for certain dates. Your list of payments can be saved in Excel format by clicking here. Lastly, when you're done, you can sign out of your Eclipse account by clicking Sign Out in the blue banner. Thanks for watching! Check out our other Eclipse videos, FAQs, and resources at phila.gov forward slash li.